2019, I, you know, bought a franchise, opened the store, and, you know, created essentially the first bricks and minifigures and only one here in the Houston area. I worked in technology for about 30 years and got to a point where I didn't want to be part of the corporate life anymore, wanted to do something else. The store I really created with a vision to try to be the, you know, the ultimate retail experience for people that were interested in Lego. So we want to kind of have everything that anybody would possibly want. We have uh, birthday parties. We've got a big party room. We have, you know, up to five birthday parties every weekend. Everybody gets to build their own race car, and then we race them against each other on the track to see who has the fastest car. Then we build minifigures, which are the little, little bitty Lego people. So everybody gets to create their own custom figure, and then they can take that home. We're an authorized Lego reseller. We carry all the new in-box Lego, all the sets that, that Lego puts out. We work closely with Lego. They get us all the latest and greatest stuff, you know, even before they come out you know, with their new launches so that we have them on launch day. People will bring in their, you know, their sets that they no longer want or no longer have room for. And then, you know, we assess it and make them an offer in cash or store credit. And so we have this table here with all of these loose bricks in it for people to, to sort through and, and pick out whichever ones they need for a project. And, and I've got a ton of uh, regular customers that come in every few days looking for, you know, more bricks for their projects that they have ongoing. In the case back here, there's the, the Mario and Luigi figures that you know were built. You know they're not Lego sets. Got him, Greg built them from a, just from scratch, just his own imagination. The kind of stuff that people can create on their own is just you know, is literally limitless with Lego. The Lego was one of these few things that you know kids and parents could all enjoy together. Not like some of the video games or some of the other things that uh, that people try to do where. Maybe it interests the parent, but not the kids, or vice versa. It really has universal appeal. I really like the way it, you know, it brought families together and gave people something they could do collectively. It doesn't matter whether you're into, you know, art or engineering or Star Wars or superheroes or there's something in Lego for you that you can use to, you know, to expand on that interest. And so, to me, to you know, to be part of that um, has been really exciting.